Hi guys, guess what? Vacations are over, so it's time to do a new unboxing and I guess you've been waiting for this one for a long time. I've heard also that uh, some backers have received uh, Wave 2 already, so we, we must do it before everybody does it before us. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at this big box. It's, yes, it's the biggest box with uh, Siege probably, uh, and it's the most expected box, uh, probably also. Uh, Apocalypse is what the whole universe leads to towards. Uh, Apocalypse is the final battle which will decide for the fate of humanity. So we have a beautiful cover, a beautiful box as usually, right? Let me show it to the right side. You can see the back of the box as well, as well right? So this time, just like for Legendary Dragon, we only have one box inside. It's heavy and full. It's this one. And we have, as usually, we have the two, uh, the two booklets, one in French, one in English. Let me show you. So you have the, the content of the box, as far as minios are concerned. Then you have some uh, explanation about the context, what it is and what you will find in this, you know. Uh, the Apocalypse is based on uh, St. John's uh, Revelation book. So that means you will have everything that was uh, described in the Revelation book. That was the, the main inspiration. And of course, you have several scenarios. So this one uh, is called the Sabbath, and it's it it tells you uh, the the birth of the Antichrist. This one, yeah, still a, a big scenario. So it's a it's a prequel, and then. You have the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which is a campaign, and it starts with the arrival of the Four Horsemen themselves. You have some other scenarios, uh, introducing uh, the Beast, uh, and then uh, the Leviathan, as you can see here. As you can see, these are huge scenarios, like they take a lot of space and you have tons of minis because you have the minis from this book uh, box, but also minis uh, from, uh, you know, the reliquary box and the core box. So it's, you're going to have like, it's probably, these are the biggest scenarios that we have uh, produced so far. As you can see, this is the Leviathan, the, the very impressive artwork by, by Ahu. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the final scenario, I guess, yes. So this is uh, the final scenario from the campaign, right? Before I go and look at uh, the, uh, what we have, like the, uh, the punch boards, let's open this big box and see what it contains. So this big box contains several layers. And on the right side, you have you have this of course you have extra uh, bases for you know for the new units that you, you have so these bases will allow you to to cover all of the new uh the new minis so what do we have here we have some new skeletons because you will need extra uh, skeletons for the big army uh, uh, of the unholy forces. So you know, you know these ones. We, you simply have more of them. Then we have new ones. Oh yes, these you will recognize. These are forces, these are new minis, uh, flying creatures from the apocalypse. Beautiful mini, I'm trying to show them on different angles. Um. Oh, yes. 
this. We have also meanings for the forces of good, of holy. So you have new supplicant, new heretics. Well, sometimes they are heretics, sometimes they are not heretics. But these are some of these forces can be could be uh, could become heretics. They are really on the edge. So yes, you have more of them. Here they are. And finally, so you know, these comes in uh, little bags, poly bags, which means they are the the big forces. Uh, oh, and we have the goggles here. But we have more than these, of course. You will, you will have an idea. The, the, this, this box contains a, a lot, a lot, a hell lot of minis. These, I, these are Devorers. Devorers. I was looking for their name. These are called Devorers. Okay, so when, when you open this, this layer, oh, you have what you all wanted to see, the Leviathan. Uh, the plastic Leviathan, which is really so impressive and so gorgeous. And of course, you want to see him next to normal-sized minis. You have cards as usually, so tarot sized cards such as this one, so in French and in English. So, yeah, in French and in English. So, we have a new archangel called Raphael. So, this is the third new uh, archangel. We have uh, the Sabbath with witch, which is a, a new sort of witch uh, here, the Sabbath witch, the Antichrist. Of course, we have uh, the intrigue cards for all of the scenarios. So you have lots of them and on both sides in French and in English as well. Then we have unit cards. And the devourers, the damned. Yes. Heretic repentance, heretic. Sometimes they are her heretics, sometimes uh, devotees are, you know, good, uh, holy side. You have new angels, destructive angel, angelic herald. New skeletons. Uh, so as uh, you know that you you used to to that. Now let's see the other side of the box. Wow, two layers. Okay, so yes, let's start with the smaller pieces before we finish with the uh, the stars of these uh, of this expansion. I will start with uh, with this. You know what this is? So let me see if I, if I have if I can find the card. Yes. This is the Ark of the Covenant. So yes, let me show you the card. Yes, it's a very, very, very powerful uh, holy item. Well, I say item, but actually it plays like a character. 
Uh, it's super powerful. And it's big. Uh, then we have the new archangel that I really want to show because he's gorgeous. This is Raphael. Look at, look at him. He's, so archangels are bigger than uh, humans. Angels are even a little bigger than uh, humans and archangels are even bigger. So if you see him uh, next to the other troops, you can see that he, he stands out. Uh, of course, we needed more angels, so uh, I will add them. But these are the same angels uh, that we had uh, in, in the game. We simply needed more. Uh, you will notice uh, that each angel now have like fire on their on their eyes. They have like fire flames on their eyes to make them uh, really, really outstanding. What else do we have? Well, this is the, 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 the witch, the Sabbath witch. These are the mounted skeleton knights. They look awesome. We have several of them. There they are. Yeah, let me show them in different angles. You will have two of them on, on, a, on a base, and then you have their leader. Two leaders. We have new angels. And we have new Mounted ghosts. Yeah. That's a lot of minis already. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. And finally, the big stars of the expansion. Well, the Leviathan is a star, but I honestly believe these are even more impressive. Look at them. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, you have the, the sacred lamb. You have uh, the, the, the relic, the sacred relic. This is really, really gorgeous. Look at that. So this is a, a dead pope that the... They took from the grave and put on a, on a horse, and it's so inspiring. It gives uh, the the holy uh, forces a big advantage. So we'll put him with the uh, holy forces. Um, we have judgment. Another well, the, the the biggest leader, the strongest leader on the of the holy forces is just an incredible mini. Look at the little. A cherubim uh, angel. Uh, what's the? Well, how do you call that? I think it's. Uh, no, I don't remember the name for these little angels, but you will. <laughs> so let me put him. He's huge. Look at compared to the the other forces. Uh, we have another one for the holy. It's like the big, big, big uh, unicorn. What was? The name, I think the name was this unicorn, Triumph, Triumph, Triumph en français. So yes, Triumph has defeated uh, a big, a giant snake, which uh, represents evil uh, in, in the Middle Age. So let's put him here, next to some minis, some normal sized human minis, so you can, you can see uh, how big they are. And then for, oh yes, another, almost as, as strong as judgment is the, the lame, the lamb. Oh, oh, what's the, the lamb of God, the lamb of God. Yes, it ha he has strong uh, abilities. If you look at the card. Again, this is a big, big, big mini, you know, like those, those men uh, holding the, uh, the Bible, a, a giant Bible. So I will put him again next 
or next to in the middle of other other forces so you can see how how big he is and finally the ones you've been waiting for let's start with the antichrist huge again and he can deceive you he can uh, seduce you but watch out he's very 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 dangerous he's he's a big asset for the unholy forces and again he's huge uh maybe if you want to see him next to some some uh, human-sized skeletons and finally the four horsemen of the apocalypse so let's start with death Let me see if I have his their cards. Yes, this is death. A gorgeous mini, a very, very original. We love the way it was represented with this dead horse uh, flying and upside down. Again, look at the size of these uh, these horse, these guys. Look at look at them compared to normal uh you also have famine. He's very, very uh very impressive. The scale that you have is uh an attribute from uh uh, from from the Bible and the way they are described and represented on, on ancient tapestry. Let's put him uh, in the middle of the others. Yeah. In the card. If you want to have a look. We have Conquest. So he's an archer, uh, mounted one, and very, very strong. He has uh, the crown. And again, this is very, yeah, very frightening, very intimidating. And I really love, I mean, the sculpts are, are gorgeous. They are really big, as you can see again, uh, next to some other guys. And finally, war. And war is incredible also. You see, uh, the, the weapons are, in, are not in PVC, they are in ABS. They are strong and they won't, they won't bend, they won't move. So these are high quality minis. You will love them. You put him in the middle of normal size guys so you can see if he wants to attack humans. He is definitely impressive. And here is his, uh, his card. So you see that's a hell of a lot of minis. Look at that. Uh, and he, that's not all. We also have, of course, some uh, punch boards. So we have some new hexes, new terrain that are described, which powers or special abilities are described in the book. You have new tokens. You need them for some scenarios. And of course, Yes, it's easy to do. And of course, you have the Leviathan uh, battle board. So there you are. That's it, guys. 
This was the unboxing for the apocalypse. I hope you are just as excited as I am. And you know, some people have received wave two already. That means it's gonna arrive more and more and uh, very soon everybody will have it. So that's it for now. Uh, I think we're still missing a, a few uh, unboxing, probably legendary battles and Arsenal, and then we're done. We, we will have done all the unboxing. So till next time, enjoy, bye-bye.